Hello, you guys. Welcome to the Amalfi Coast. Guys, literally look. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting on the balcony of where we are staying. We'll just go out of the shower. You're probably hearing all sorts of noise, like dogs barking, people having a good time around me, but we're in Amalfi, Italy, in the city town, not exactly sure of Amalfi, so literally in Amalfi on the Amalfi coast. I'm drinking a limoncello soda that Will made me. Mm. And we are gonna do our hair together today. I've been honestly, primarily this entire trip wearing my hair up because it has been so hot and sweaty. So I've been trying out lots of different kind of like updos and hairstyles and trends. I normally always wear my hair down and you guys probably have noticed if you've been watching on my Instagram or my vlogs, my hair has been up. So the other night I did my hair like this on sort of picture in Rome and I did it like in the dark. So I couldn't film it for you guys, but today I actually wanted to do it again because I loved it so much. I wanted to recreate it. And if you haven't heard the side bangs, are back the side part is back she's officially cool again um i joke about that though because whether you wear your hair in middle part or side part trends are silly and come what comes in and out of style is always changing so do what makes you feel the best wherever you part your hair but i definitely for a very long time have been parting my hair in the middle because i think i was always a side part girl and then i was like oh i'll try the middle everybody's trying the middle then now i've been doing my middle part for like five years I feel like four or five years it started to be trending again the side part basically because people like Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian are wearing their hair with side parts so I'm actually gonna be recreating this look from Kim Kardashian Kylie Jenner was on the late late show with James Corden who I absolutely adore and her hair looked absolutely stunning and I was like wait I literally am gonna recreate this because it's too hot to wear my hair down and it gives me a sophisticated glamorous look so basically her hair is kind of parted to the side and it's kind of an updo and this is like seriously the simplest easiest updo you will ever do that will make you look so particular together so chic you won't have to try too hard for it because I although I love hair I'm not the girl at spending a million hours on my hair especially when I'm traveling so tonight we are gonna get some cocktails get some dinner I'm wearing this really cute little dress I did my makeup so let's dive straight into our hair love you guys thank you for watching and yeah let's go okay so my hair is freshly washed for the first time in days i've been using the day shampoo and conditioner olaplex number no. eight hair mask and i also use the dp hue like color gloss in auburn today so it made my hair a really nice rich color also you guys if you haven't yet make sure you are following me on my instagram and my tiktok i'll put both my usernames here i'm just getting a little mirror set up so i can see what i'm doing because i'm posting loads on there and that is more up to date with youtube youtube we always you know post a few days behind so if you want to see what we're doing when we're doing where we're going definitely follow me on there okay so my hair I blow dried it I've already applied heat protectant everything always make sure you're using heat protectant and what I'm gonna do is kind of begin just sectioning out like a little side bang piece like that I have curtain bangs so this kind of works for me and then tuck my hair back I think that's about as much hair that I want. Okay, maybe I want a little bit more hair. So I'll kind of section that out. As you'll see, it's a bit just kind of around my face, just like that. And then I'll tuck that hair behind my ear and then I'll kind of look where I did that and I'll do the same thing on the other side. I love to use like a little comb. I'm looking in my mirror to see it's even because my hair is layers and sometimes when this is like uneven, that annoys me. So I might just actually take this longer section and tuck that back behind my ear again. This doesn't have to be perfect, but you kind of almost want to have like face framing pieces out just like Kylie had and making it even depending on your hair and your haircut. And so I think like something like that looks pretty good. Kind of even on the both sides okay so now that I have those front pieces sectioned out I'm just gonna clip up this back really quick because I need to make like a ponytail in the back that's sleek but I don't really want to mess with these pieces so sometimes what I'll do is I will just clip these with oops, with little like makeup clips just out of the way so that way if I start combing backwards it doesn't pick up these hairs because this is my hair that's been sectioned off All right and now I just put a little of the day three-in-one styling cream I've been using this my entire trip and it's amazing because it doesn't make your hair crunchy or dried out I still use hairspray for some of my looks just to have the extra hold because this is like a softer hold but this like defines your curls it's great for a blowout they've been amazing so I put some of that on my hands and I just kind of begin rubbing it into my hair to help smooth it out because we are going to create a bit of a higher ponytail so I just kind of rubbed that 
that in and I will take a bristle brush, which I have a ton of these linked on my Amazon if you're looking for any good ones. They just really smooth the hair without pulling it too much. You can always use a Denman brush, which I also have linked if you want a little bit more of like a tight pull for a brush because again, a bristle brush just kind of like smooths the top layer of your hair. Um, and I just kind of begin making a ponytail. The ponytail is gonna sit not on the top of my head, but also not too low. So somewhere around there. So I'm just gonna keep smoothing that out until I reach a place I like and we'll secure it with the hair tie. Okay, so we can now take these down and I just secured um, that ponytail. It doesn't have to be perfect or lump free because a lot of it is gonna be disguised and hidden. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to curl our ponytail. So my top tip when you are doing a look where maybe you need a little bit extra volume or some texture for like an updo is don't curl your entire head of hair. My hair is straight. As you see, this is literally my blow dried straight hair. Um, people always think I have curly or wavy hair. And I'm like, I sleep in braids. I promise you I do not have curly hair. And I will just curl my ponytail basically because I don't need to curl my whole head I don't want to apply too much heat to my hair if I don't need to and tomorrow I'm gonna be swimming at the beach I'm going to beach club with Will for our three-year wedding anniversary actually So my hair is gonna get wet. So like let's do the least we can So I'm gonna show you how I curl the ponytail and then we'll continue on I actually just had to move you because we're closer to the outlet for this part no longer seeing the view But this is the Miracomb like flat iron that I've been traveling with this is the only hot tool I brought it's linked on my Amazon storefront. It blows cool air out um, on the outside, which is great. So people are pulling like a game down there. Oh my gosh, are those goats? Anyway, there's a lot of sounds going on. So hope you can hear this, but basically turn it on. It makes it sound like that because it's blowing cool air out. So I'm gonna let that heat up and then we'll curl the ponytail. So literally all I will do, I'll change directions. It really doesn't matter. Is I'll grab a piece of hair just in this ponytail and I'll take this flat iron and begin just curling it just to give it some extra texture because my hair is super straight literally just something like that super super easy doesn't really matter what it looks like because it is all going to be pinned up but it just helps you with creating the updo that we're doing so if i'll twist different directions sometimes just pull it leaving those ends straight Boom, bam. And we're just gonna continue that around the head, all right? Okay, so you end up with a ponytail that just looks something like that. Just got some curls, just some texture. And we're gonna do these front pieces really quickly just before we pin up the back. So all I'm gonna do is take this flat iron and curl them under to create kind of like a soft, swoopy side bang. Mine might be a little bit more curled than Kylie's was in her picture that I've posted, but we're gonna do my version of this. So we're just gonna let these front pieces chill and I'm gonna begin running my fingers through the back of these soft curls and all we're gonna do is we are gonna take a claw clip. I'm wearing a black one because I'm wearing black so whatever coordinates and we are going to take this ponytail and literally just clip it right at the base to where you're then just left with like your average claw clip and now we are going to build the updo. Okay, so the updo now is kind of just playing with it however you like for your hair. I have a bunch of bobby pins, so you're gonna need bobby pins for this look. I just usually begin, and of course this is my rendition of Kylie's look. I don't exactly know how she did her look. This is kind of like the Kylie Jenner slash Kim Kardashian hair by Chris Appleton. I'll put a photo of um, Kim Kardashian's hair. Kind of like the mix between the two, but with the side part, so straps keep falling down. Um, probably because they're meant to be down, but they were stripped to me when doing my hair. So I kind of just grab pieces like that. So if you can see, I'll take my hands, take a little section, poof up, and then I'll bobby pin that. So I kind of just do that on both sides. So I usually put a bobby pin right there, bobby pin right there, and then we'll continue on. So we'll zoom in so you can really see what I'm doing. I don't have much rhyme or reason. I kind of just go for it. Here, 
kind of have a bit of a base. Let's see if I can show you. I then will start taking some of these like shorter pieces that are underneath the point that's pinned. And with some of them, I'll take them and maybe pin them up. So I'll take like this piece, you see how it's kind of like twisted, I'll twist it and then maybe pin it like right there and then play with it and maybe tuck those ends in just to keep creating a bun. You kind of can just pin and play with it however you like. So yeah, you kind of can just keep playing with it depending on what you like. You can kind of just watch now what I'll do and just mess with it until you're happy. So I don't know if you really saw what I did, but I basically did this on both sides of the waterfall. I pinned it right here with a little poof. I then pinned it further down right there. It's almost like a like a poof pin tuck. And then I pinned it a bit further down, kind of leaving out these ends because I like how that looks. And it's kind of just fun. It covers the claw clip in there as well. If yours doesn't cover the claw clip, that's fine. I The other day when I did this, it didn't. It really is just personal preference. And now we're gonna begin hairspraying. I'm literally just using the L'Oreal Paris, which this isn't the highest quality hairspray, but I didn't pack any with me and I'm like quickly realized I need some. So <laughs> we're just gonna use this hairspray. Um, and what I'll do is I'm just gonna begin spraying this on both sides. And then for these front pieces, what I like to do is I pinch them like this and I spray it to kind of create that nice, soft bang piece. And then we're gonna tuck it behind our ears as well, probably. And I'll kind of grab out the shorter piece and I might just tuck that behind my ear. So it kind of just creates a nice little like face framing piece. Those little pieces are tucked behind her ears. We've got the pieces around her face. And all of a sudden, we have a very romantic, heatless, Amalfi Italy approved Kylie Jenner easy peasy if you don't even like doing hair. Wow, that was the longest description ever. Hairstyle. Let's call it the Kylie Jenner updo. That is my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you maybe try it out. I love doing this video for you guys. Like and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. I'm gonna go enjoy a date night with my husband but this Hello. is the final look of my hair. So here's the hair guys. Everything I use is always linked on my Amazon storefront. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to comment below. Alright guys this is the money shot right here. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is the finished hair look, y'all. She said, date night. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I will see you in the next video. We are vlogging this entire time, so stay tuned for that. I love y'all. Bye!